The Heartland Athletic Conference title belongs to the Islander boys once again. In the program's seventh straight trip to the hack final, Grand Island dug deep and defeated Lincoln Southwest one to nothing in shootout fashion. You know, that was a very well played game by both teams. Uh, both teams had really good opportunities. We saw multiple balls hit off crossbars and posts throughout the game. Um, Lincoln Southwest, what can you say? I mean, they're a fantastic team as well. And, and just uh, having two high school teams just gutting it out. There's a lot of history between our two programs, especially in, in this game. After winning the hack in 2011, 12, 13, and 14, the Islanders had fallen in the conference final the past two years, both times at the hand of the Silverhawks. For us to win this one, it was pretty big. You know, we talked about uh, getting our fifth and we wanted to get the plaque back. That's what we kept talking about. And so able to do that, um, just couldn't be more pleased with this team. I mean, talk about just gut check after gut check. Um, you know, these are the types of three uh, game stretches that can really catapult you um, just for the rest of the season. Tied 0-0 after regulation and two overtime periods, the Islanders headed to a shootout for the third consecutive match after advancing to the final with shootout victories over Fremont and North Star. Just in Oregon block, two of the first three kicks taken by Lincoln Southwest to give the Islanders a 3-1 advantage. But Lincoln Southwest goalkeeper Sam Lessowing made two do-or-die saves, and Lincoln Southwest converted on their last two attempts to tie things 3-3 after five shots each. Fidel Garcia converted on Grand Island's sixth penalty to leave things in the hands of Justin Oregon, and the senior keeper came up with a monumental save to give the Islanders the win. To come through with, with three out of six, it's, it's crazy. I mean, it really is. Um, you don't have that type of expectation on these kids. You don't have that type of expectation on professional goalkeepers. And, you know, when somebody's standing 12 yards away and you've got 24 by 8 um, feet of space that you've got to cover, and for him to be able to just read and do what he does, um, speechless, I mean, really. I just try to focus really hard. Um, I just thought about my team and try not to let my team down, so I'm glad I got that stop. Now the victory was big for the team, but the result reaches much further than that. There's an awful lot of pride, and you know we've got alumni that you know, obviously follow our program, and to understand that this was seven years in a row that we're playing in the championship, uh, they're pretty proud of that. I mean, everyone's going to follow us again. I mean, no matter what, the GI community follow us no matter what. But I mean, with this huge win, it proves that we're not going to let get bullied around, get pushed by other bigger teams. And it's what the GI is all about. It's GI tough. The Islanders are next in action on Tuesday when they travel to number three Columbus. The match will be broadcast live on NCN channel 30.1 and streamed online at ncnsportsnow.com. I'm Brandon Axumit in Lincoln reporting, NCN Sports Now.